Hello everyone, welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. Today I wanted to talk about the uh, different uh, display modes that are available on the ICOM 7300. Uh, the display that we're on right now is uh, one of the dis default displays that uh, you have available on the radio. Uh, it tells you your frequency, your mode, uh, how your filter is set, time, uh, other operational parameters. And you have a metering bar here uh, which is configurable. Uh, it has S meter and power out, and uh, if you touch it, it cycles through the different options that are available, which is fine. Uh, if you want a little bit more information, uh, what you can do is press and hold, and you'll get the uh, advanced metering panel. On this panel, you still have the, uh, the bar that you had before, but you also have your uh, automatic level control uh, display. Uh, the red is the uh, ALC range uh, comp for compression. It'll show you how much your uh, audio is being compressed. Uh, SWR for your standing wave ratio. Uh, ID, which is the uh, drain current of your uh, final amplifier MOSFET. VD, which is the drain voltage of your uh, final amplifier MOSFETs. And temperature, which is going to be the uh, temperature of your final amplifier MOSFETs. So, uh, as you can see here, there's a lot of information that's available. Uh, now, one of the popular uh, display modes on the IC7300 is the waterfall. And you can get to that by pressing M-Scope. Uh, now, whether or not you have the advanced metering displayed, uh, that's the default size. If you want to expand that, press and hold, and you'll get the full screen uh, spectrum scope waterfall display, which is usually where I keep the radio when I'm operating. Uh, just because I like to be able to see uh, what's going on in the band. Uh, now, right now I'm in uh, center mode with uh, plus minus 10 kilohertz. You can also uh, change the span, and I have another video that deals with this uh, more extensively, uh, also on how to set band edges. So, you can cycle through uh, all the way out to uh, plus minus 500 kilohertz, the narrowest. It's 2.5. Now if you're set for uh, anything other than 2.5 and you hold down the span button, it will reset to 2.5. The other thing that you can do is you can go into fixed mode. And with fixed mode, you're operating with band edges. So it shows you everything that's inside the band edges that you have defined. Which can be handy uh, if you want to be able to see, say for instance, the entire general portion of... Uh, say 20 meters. You can program that as a band edge and have the ability to see that so that you can see any QSOs that are ongoing. Uh, the other thing that it gives you is that when you tune the entire waterfall doesn't shift back and forth which a lot of people find irritating. So uh, one thing that you can do is you can set a very narrow set of band edges and uh, go back and forth within that band edge and not have to deal with the, the display spearing that you would see in center mode. But that's uh, further covered in the uh, other video that I have on this topic, which will be linked down below. Uh, that's going to cover it for today. If anybody has any questions or comments, let me know down below. Uh, I hope you found this video informative, and uh, we'll be back soon with another video. Have a great day.